Welcome, this is All Minus One Quick Shots. Today, folks, I want to talk to you about this new Rasmussen poll. She says that the president is up uh, 53%, 53% of likely voters to uh, approve of Donald Trump's job performance. 46% disapprove. Of course, right now with the uh, debates coming up and the town halls, the town halls, which were quite uh, strange, by the way, it, Biden getting softballs the whole time and Trump just being berated, we can kind of see where things are going. The Washington Post today had an article that actually chided Biden because Biden told numerous, numerous lies. For instance, one of the things, it was probably a misspeak, but one of the things he said is that there would be another 215,000 people dead by January if we don't wear masks. So I wanted to uh, to cover just a few things very briefly that might be why the president has a higher approval rating. One of them, of course, is all of the rioting. This is from the Wall Street Journal. It says Barr tells prosecutors to consider charging violent protesters with sedition. Yeah, he probably should. Um, they want to overthrow the government. We have seen the rioting go down. Now, they deputized it. Uh, Barr had deputized the state police in Oregon with federal policing powers. Before that, the state police decided they would not do anything in Portland anymore. Yet people on the left still want to blame President Trump. Often, in many cases, the, uh, the request for help or the either wasn't there or the offer for help was rejected. So here, this is uh, KOIN, CBS 6, says a DA pursues a riot, a laser charges against more Portland protesters. And it says protests have largely stalled due to unhealthy and poor air quality. And um, I have no doubt that the, the quality of the air being so horrible and so bad uh, in areas where there's not even fire that it, it that it's hard to breathe and burns people's eyes is a big reason why there aren't people out in the streets. I do find it interesting that the CDC had to put out a statement saying that cloth masks do not protect people from smoke particulates. Somehow they are protecting us from uh, virons though. Quite, quite interesting. So in any case, the the whole thing, the whole point I, I, I that I'm bringing up here is, is that these protests on the left, these protests of peace, have been largely destructive. They've been riots. They've been looting. They've been arsons. Um, and we were already in a poor economic spot, not because the president, in fact, the president has tried to get the economy reopened, but the, the, because of the Democrats. The Democrats have decided that they were going to... Uh, for probably political gains or political reasons, keep things locked down. The mayor of Nashville was busted the other day with having emails saying that there were only 22 cases they could trace to keeping restaurants closed. And yet they kept the restaurants closed. They said the majority of the spread was in the nursing homes. Now, I've done a whole video over this before, but that data has been out since April, especially by May. All the stuff that we're still doing is ridiculous. And here in West Virginia, where Jim Justice is my governor, who is supposedly a Republican, he, he's doing nothing better or any different. West Virginia, with its ridiculously small population, and we've only had about 200 deaths. I haven't checked the numbers recently, but it isn't that many. So what is going on to raise these numbers? Well, I think people are just getting sick and tired of the nonsense. People are waking up, especially with all of this stuff with uh, the rioting and looting as Black Lives Matter has slowly begun to lose support. And I praise that, not because I'm against police brutality or, or, or should say for police brutality, because I'm not, I'm against it, uh, or that I'm against uh, b black folks. It has nothing to do with that. It's because they're a communist organization that wants to destroy the family. So lastly here, I do want to cover this. White House siege, tactical briefing, number one. Now, if you hadn't heard about this, there was supposed to be a siege starting yesterday on the White House, September 17th. And the whole idea was is they were going to occupy the area. Now, I don't know if these fools understand how cold D.C. gets, but, you know, I grew up in the area, so I can tell you it gets quite cold. 
And uh, this was not going to be fun for them. But if we go down here, we scroll down here. This is from Ad Busters, by the way. Uh, they helped organize Occupy Wall Street. We see how these things keep changing. And now they're like nonviolent improv <laughs> improvisational jazz and uh, continuing. So is that coded language? I don't know. Is it because the DOJ has been going after these people? Probably. There was a statement released from them not to talk to the cops, not to do this or that, not to incriminate yourselves, yada, yada, yada. Because before what was happening is, is these people were, were getting arrested, some of them, and then being released the next day on their own recognizance. That is insanity. These people are dangerous. So we saw a different thing happen in, in Lancaster. In Lancaster, they arrested them. They put them on, on high level uh, bail charges. And apparently that's been dropped now. And they are now essentially on house arrest. But what we see or what we have seen is, is that when you apply law and order, it works. And I think people are seeing that. And they want stability because the, this year, <laughs> this year has been insanity. We have three months left in 2020, and this year has just been absolute insanity. So, folks, with all that, that has been all Minus One Quick Shots, and I wish you all well.